loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this vampy inspired look, it would appear. I started off this morning and I was like, hmm, it's so lovely today, it's kind of like spring outside. I might do like a spring inspired look, but no, we ended up looking like a vampire. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys really like this because I absolutely love it. I got inspired because I found Utopia was a pigment from Makeup Geek and I've had it in my collection for a long time. I just forgot that I had it. And then I received this in the mail yesterday. It's a black cherry lipstick from Milani and that's what I used obviously on my lips today. And I was just inspired by those two things. I said forget about spring, we're going right back to autumn, my favourite season personally. But I was like yeah we'll just do something more vampy and fall inspired and this is what I came up with. This would be very helpful I suppose to people in the southern hemisphere who are coming into autumn and winter now. But I hope you guys enjoy this look anyway. And then I'll get right into the tutorial. First of all, I'm going to take the Nivea Aftershave Balm. I completely forgot to get a picture of this, but I did a first impressions of it, so that's exactly what I'm using in this video, just to prime one side of my face. Then I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match in the colour number W4, and then my EX1 foundation in, I think it's F300. I'm just applying that with my beauty blender all over my face. You can see I'm kind of focusing on one half, because I was doing the first impressions, like I said. But I do apply it to both sides, so it's only one side is primed, that's all. And then taking the scandalized pencil, it's either in taupe or bad bronze, I'm not sure, but I will write down the name below. I'm just applying that all over the eyelid as a base, and then I'm going to blend that out with a brush, this kind of fluffy brush, I think it's from Buff and Blend. And then I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm taking this gorgeous taupey colour and just applying that straight into the crease. I'm just going to use that taupey shade just to blend out any of the harsh lines left from the pencil. Next I'm going in with this white shade and apply that to my brow bone at this point because I'll forget. <laughs> Knowing me, I just forget to highlight. I'm going in with MAC Satin Taupe. I haven't used this shadow in ages. I'm kind of rediscovering all my old eyeshadows. I moved and finding everything that I forgot about. I actually put MAC Fix Plus onto my brush just to kind of wet the product a little bit. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and blend it all out. Just to kind of make it a little bit more purpley, because Satin Taupe has a slight purple shade to it. I am taking MAC Sketch. I'm just going to add that all over the lid, just to intensify it and make it look a little bit more purple. Then I'm taking this black colour from the Shade and Light palette, and then I'm just going to apply that to the outer and the inner corner of my eye, just to add a bit of a halo effect to this look. And then apply Makeup Geek's Utopia just to the centre, just to kind of highlight it, bring all the attention to that area. I absolutely love this pigment. Again, it's something I completely forgot I had, and I'm rediscovering it. I'm just going to add some pencil liner to my tight line and my waterline. Then I'm going to go in with the Inglot Brow Gel in number 15. Forgot to get an image of this as well. I'm just going to apply my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the colour NW25 underneath my eyes, blending it out with my beauty blender as I normally do just to brighten up that area and make me look not so dead and half asleep. Then underneath my eyes I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the colour Light and just using a Real Techniques brush just to set that area. And then to set my face makeup I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in 005 Silky Beige. The usual Rimmel powder that I always take. I love this guy so much. Going in with that grey taupe brown. I don't know how to describe it. It's a gorgeous colour. Almost like a slate grey nearly. Blend that underneath my lower lash line. And then going in with Utopia again. Just in the centre portion of my lower lash line. Just to add a little bit of openness. I'm going in with that same colour I highlighted my brow bone with. And just highlighting the inner corner with that. Taking my Inglot Sculpting Powders and going in with the number 507 and I'm just going to carve out some cheekbones, apply it to the top of my forehead and all that jazz. Taking my next blush next, I'm just going to apply that to the apples on my cheeks and I will write down the name of this below. I'm going in with my Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. I was going to say in Jaclyn Hill. <laughs> no, that's not the one. Apply that to my cheekbones and just over my cupid's bow. Then I'm taking my favourite mascara of life. This is the Unglot Falsy False Lash Effect Mascara. That's the one. Just going to apply some coatings of that and then go in with Falsies. Mm -hmm. 
to line my lips I am taking Max Night Moth. I haven't used this in ages. Rediscovery also. So we're going to line our lips with that and then take Milani's Black Cherry. Oh god, I love this lipstick so much. It is beautiful. It's like a glossy, vampy, oh everything just so amazing about this so that is the completed look and now for some awkward posing oh yeah yeah check out that look oh yeah <laughs> anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already i would love that and i will talk to you all in my next video i love you guys bye